friends. Ooh, this feels weird. It's been so long since I've actually filmed a video. <sighs> it's cold in my apartment because we have the air blasting, so I'm wearing a giant hoodie because I'm freezing. But I wanted to film today because I am prepping for the fall slash Halloween restock in my shop. Um, my shop's just honestly been kind of empty, so I'm trying to honestly just put more stuff in it. And I figured since fall and Halloween's coming up, I might as well start creating some stuff. So I'm working on these, like, cute little pouches right now. Um, they're gonna be adorable. We're doing some cute- I bought, like, Halloween fabric last year. And I never got around to making anything with them, so we're making some little cute pouches. I have little, like, ghosty fabric. Um, I have two more pouches left to interface, and then I can actually get to sewing, so that'll be fun. And I figured I might as well just vlog while I'm doing this, because I want to put some more content out on YouTube again. It's been a long time coming, but if you guys want to see what I'm up to, go ahead and follow my Instagram. It'll be linked down below as well as my TikTok. I've been kind of posting more frequently on those uh, platforms. But yeah, I'm gonna try to post a little bit more regularly on here. I have one video already filmed that I just have to edit and I have another, another video that is in the works still, but we have to finish filming that soon. Um, and then I have so many other ideas, like we just need to film some more stuff. But anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling and we're just gonna get into the vlog. I'm just kind of working through like my scrap bin of interfacing for these because I didn't feel like cutting out a bunch of pieces, especially since this is like a fairly, these have fairly small pieces, um, there's fairly small pieces for this pattern because it's just like a nice little pouch so they're a lot of smaller pieces. Um, this pattern is the Beachcomber pouch. I forgot who it's by, but I'll have that linked in the description box if you guys are interested in that pattern. I have made one of these before, and I thought they were super cute, so I'm just making a few Halloween-themed ones. I figured they'd be something quick and easy to make. I might make some Halloween purses at some point because I do have fabric still. Um, at least for the ghosts I have fabric. Oh, I think I have pumpkins too. I have these cute pumpkins that I made a couple pouches out of as well. I just have to figure out what kind of purse pattern I want. Like, I really want to try a new purse pattern, but I have been trying one and I got stressed out because I couldn't figure out how to do it. You can't really see what I'm doing. It's fine. <laughs> We're just interfacing fabric. Um, yeah. Nothing too exciting. But yeah, I'm just trying to find these like bigger scrap pieces in my scrap bin that I can use to kind of interface these. I'm just trying to use up as much of my scraps as I can because I always have so many scraps in here and I just don't feel like cutting new pieces of my like big interfacing for something so small. I'd rather just save that for bigger purses and stuff. But yeah, for the fall restock, I have these. Um, little pouches. I think I've also, I have a few beanies and stuff that I want to list that I crocheted. I have some bun hats and stuff that I made that I'm going to list. And I also, um, made some scrunchies I want to list. I think that'll be fun. Something cute and new to add to the shop. Um, yeah, I just really want to add more stuff to the shop because there's just not a lot in there. I'm sorry. If you hear that, that's my rabbit. She's over here being loud. We're just playing interfacing Jenga over here. I'll let you guys watch a bit more. Cause I don't know that's what I'm doing. It's probably more interesting to watch this than watch me. So I'm trying to aim for September 1st for this restock. Um, I think I can get it done. Honestly, it's only August. 15th I think or 16th or something so I still have some time before the end of the month and I think I can definitely get these pouches sewn pretty quickly because I think just once the interfacing's done it's a breeze to kind of sew it and just kind of assembly line everything 
And I'm just really excited to start sewing these because I they're going to be so cute and I just really want to list them. And of course I'm going to have to take product photos and everything so if I can get these done by the end of the week that would be nice just so I can do a little bit of promoting on Insta and TikTok and stuff. And then have everything nice and set up for a restock. I never really do big restocks like this. Um, but I wanted to start because I feel like it just is better marketing, kind of. Um, and I'm really trying to, like, get everything into my Etsy shop because, like, I really love making bags and stuff. I don't know, I really just enjoy making bags, so I want to, like, kind of just make my shop more full of stuff because... It's been pretty empty. I've sold out of a lot of things and I just never got around to really restocking it much. So I really like my new apartment because I actually have a view out this window at my old apartment. We lived on the bottom floor. So the view was just like a brick wall and a fence. So it was like depressing. But like now I have my ironing board like right in front of the window. It's kind of dark out now because it's like 9 o'clock but um... There's like trees and grass and a little courtyard. It's so nice. And I like it so much better than my last apartment. Plus we're like on the top floor so I don't have to look at a brick wall. Which is nice. During the day it's really fun because there's like kids playing out there and there's like birds and the trees and stuff. Right now it's kind of dead because it's getting late. Like I literally can't believe that it's been two months since I uploaded a video. Like I swear I just uploaded that video not too long ago, but honestly that was when I was still in my old apartment. I don't think I've actually uploaded a video since I've been in the new new apartment, which is sad. Or no, I think I yeah, I did an unpack I did like a live stream where I was unpacking my craft room and stuff. And I had every intention to do a craft room tour. But um, I had more stuff than I thought I would have space for, so it's kind of crammed in here and it's a mess, so I don't think I'll be doing a craft room tour anytime soon. I'm just packing on waiting to get a house, and then I can just have an entire floor for crafts. Like, that'll just be the dream. But until then, we're crammed in a little tiny bedroom, <laughs> but it's fine. We make do with what we have. I just wish I could make it cuter in here, but like I tried and I think I just fail at decorating anything. Like I wish I had more organization in here, but I have two giant desks and I don't really have space for anything else because I have a rabbit cage in here too. Because I really have nowhere else to put the rabbit, so she lives in my craft room. <laughs> So I have one more bag to interface, but I'm officially out of interfacing scraps, so I'm going to have to uh, cut some of these out. Um, just the pieces are getting so small that it's not even worth it t to me to uh, try and piece that together. Am I missing... Oh, I thought I was missing this one piece, and I'm like, I know I cut it out. I know I cut it out. I'm so excited to just finish this last bag because I just want to get to sewing these. Um, because I feel like sewing will go pretty quick. I just have to, uh, do it. I definitely feel like fall is coming because I feel like it's getting darker earlier now. Alright, now I'm going to have to start cutting some stuff out. see what that does because I can always use the scrappy pieces to kind of fix that up later. Hey guys, so I finally finished 
interfacing all of the bags. It is now 9.30. I think I started this, I think maybe it took an hour. I don't know when I came back here. It might have been 7.38. I don't know. But we have finished interfacing them and I really want to start sewing them, but I don't know. Um, I need to, I think, I don't know if I want to use white thread or black thread. Because, like, I low-key don't feel like changing my thread. I wonder if I have a black bobbin. That'll be the deciding factor. But I'm probably going to start sewing some of these. You guys, I finally got everything prepped. I picked out my metal pieces and we've got my zippers all made. And now all that's left to do is sew. Yay! Uh, so we're going to start with these front panels. I have um, the pieces all here that I need to sew together. So we're going to go ahead and do that. one side of these but I'm already liking how they're looking like they're gonna be so cute and I'm so excited I really like how the gray looks with the ghosties it's so cute um but it's getting late and I have to work tomorrow so I am going to go to bed but I'll probably continue this vlog tomorrow after work um and hopefully I can get more progress done with these just started them honestly but I'm glad I finally finished the interfacing so really all we have to do is sew um, but yeah we'll see how much more I can get done tomorrow hey guys welcome back um, we have some cat visitors this evening uh, Good thing the iron isn't on because they knocked it over. Um, Vader's gonna go bug the rabbit now, but uh, yeah, so back to sewing this evening. Um, gonna see how much we can get done. Yay! Um, have cats, they said. It'll be fun, they said. He's eating rabbit hay. And there goes the other one. Why, boys, why? Why? I just got the corners of this one sewn on and it's already looking so cute. Oh, the little ghosties, they're adorable. Ooh, I'm so excited. It's gonna be so cute. Welcome to another day of preparing for the fall launch. Um, before I get sewing this evening, I am... Before I get sewing this evening, I'm going to 
load some stuff into my Cricut. My friend is getting married, so she's having me um, make some like paper roses. I have to go get the books out of the other room, but I'm gonna load some of those into the Cricut while I sew. That way they can just kind of get done because I need to cut out a bunch of these little like rose petal patterns and like make roses out of them. So I'm gonna print some of those and get uh, making on that. I just have to find the email she sent me with the pattern. Just so we're clear, I do not condone the act of tearing books apart, but we're only doing this for my friend. <laughs> going so that means it is time for us to get back into the sewing game this is like terrible lighting because i got the sun back there but oh well time to sew uh finish up these pouches why not finish them up tonight but we'll get as far as we can so let's sew i'm sorry if you can hear the cricket in the background she's kind of loud i also feel like she didn't cut it all so i may have messed up a little bit Uh, first of all, this didn't cut correctly even though I put the right dimensions in. And second of all, I shouldn't have used the standard grip mat because this paper is literally just stuck to the mat and it won't come off. Ugh. I just really need to show you guys how cute the fronts of these bags are going to be because the fronts are almost finished. Oh my god. Look how cute they are. I'm so excited. These are adorable. Aw, I'm gonna make one for myself kind of. about to do the gusset which is probably the worst part of this whole bag but once that's done it'll be close to finished at least we'll see the exterior I gotta do the interior pieces but once I get the gusset on the front and back it you can kind of see what the bag's gonna look like which I love doing so let's do this I have to do this for eight of these so this is gonna be fun. No, six. I have to do these for six of these, so that'll be fun. We're losing light now, but I just sewed one part of the gusset onto the first bag, and I love it because you can kinda already see what it's gonna look like. So cute. Um, uh, sewing this is so hard, but we got her done. So I just got out of the shower and I uh, spent some time with my husband watching a movie, but um, I'm about to go to bed in a little bit. So I stopped sewing, but I'm going to try to um, wrap up these scrunchies that I had made for the launch. Um, I made a few already, so I have some orange and black ones I think I'm going to like launch as like a little set for like Halloween. So... Yeah, I've been making a few of these just so that I have some ready to go. And I have a few of these that I made up. I just have to sew them shut and whatnot. So I'm going to do that really fast. Every time I try to go to this part, Every time I get to this part, when I make these scrunchies, I 
always end up like accidentally dropping a stitch so we're gonna hope that doesn't happen this time but like so far every time I've made one I've just dropped a stitch and I don't know why because I swear I caught them all you guys I'm so excited this is the first time I actually finished um, off one of these scrunchies without dropping any stitches yay oh so cute I'm excited ready for spooky season. Sorry I look crazy, but oh look these scrunchies. They're so cute. Um, yay! Okay, well, let's back up a little, okay. Alright, so I'm... I don't know how long this vlog is, but um, yeah. I'll probably see you tomorrow. Um, yeah. I'm just going to make this a weekly vlog, I guess, because I want to get more sewing done, so see you guys in the morning. Hello, everybody. It is Sunday now, um, August 22nd, which means we have literally Wednesday. Wednesday will be one week until we launch the Halloween collection. I need to finish these bags. Luckily, I'm off work today, and the husband is gone, so we get to sew all day with no distractions. Um, kind of getting a late start because I was playing Sims for a little bit while I ate breakfast. But, um, yeah, we're going to get sewing. Hopefully, I can finish these bags. I did finish a couple more scrunchies uh, the other night. I'm probably going to sell these in like, packs of two with the orange and the black. i got to take pictures of these still. But um, I want to finish these bags because I also have to take pictures of those and I would rather just kind of take pictures of everything. But yeah, let's get sewing. It's always cold in here so I have blankie. Disgusted <laughs> it is always the hardest part. sides of one of the exteriors and kind of see what it's going to look like now which is fun. I haven't like trimmed the corners or anything yet. I mainly just want to see if I caught everything when I was sewing though too before we go and do anything. Oh it looks so cute. This is the front, and that's the back. How adorable. These are gonna be so cute when they're done. guys so it's like three o'clock now and I'm just thinking I'm kind of hungry so I'm gonna take a little break from sewing and make myself some lunch I have leftovers from dinner last night so I'm probably going to just go ahead and warm that up in the air fryer got some fries and chicken last night so yeah we're gonna do that because whenever I'm working and I'm at home and it's a weekend, I just totally get off my lunch schedule that I usually have when I'm at work. And I just forget to eat sometimes. But I also had breakfast at like noon because that's just when I decided to get started today. And I was craving some Dunkin', so yeah. But I'm going to warm up some chicken in the air fryer. And yeah, 
then I think I'm probably going to take a little break. I might go ahead and schedule some Instagram posts. Um, but yeah, we're going to warm this food up. Mm. Our power totally went out last night. I don't even know what time it actually is. Like 3.45 maybe? Lunch time. So... I'm just on Canva right now, and I'm creating some, like, text posts for my Instagram, just because sometimes I like to put a picture and break it up a little bit with, like, a text post. That way it's not, like, just on product photos, you know? Sometimes I want to, like, talk to people. So, yeah, I'm making some little, like, text posts, and then I can go ahead in um, the Facebook Creator Studio, and I can kind of schedule and upload my... Uh, Instagram posts because I do have like product photos on my computer that I want to go ahead and upload as well. So yeah, I'm going to eat lunch, do this, and then we're going to get back to sewing because I've made it to the lining part and we're this close to assembling the bags, which is going to be great. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to make a few more products for the launch and then we can run into product photos and that'll be fun. I just finished lunch and I scheduled a couple Instagram posts. Little baby, I went outside to throw my plate in the sink and this little baby was crying so I figured I'd give him some attention. This is Miles. I don't know if you guys ever met Miles yet. I got him in December. He's like eight months old now. He's a big little noodle. Um, hi buddy, you wanna hang out with mama? You're probably lonely. He's been sleeping. <laughs> He's my little Halloween kitty. You want to pose with some Halloween product? Oh my god. We have to do a photo shoot with you, Miles. You gotta pose with some Halloween products. Yeah, we gotta do some creepy stuff. Oh my gosh. Should I make you like... I should make him a Halloween bandana. <laughs> yes, a cute baby. Alright, we're gonna go stop distracting ourselves and get back to sewing these bags. Yay! Little bean. Say hi, Shmi. Hi, Shmi. <laughs> All right, buddy. We're gonna sew. It's like 6.30 now, I think. Or maybe it's like seven, I don't know. But the worst thing in the world is when you run out of bobbin halfway through sewing something. Uh, now I gotta rebob in the machine, but we're almost done with the lining pieces, and then we can start doing the zippers and assembling everything. So we're like this close to being done. Whew! It's been a long day. 